left, we are leaving Kentucky, and we are headed to Indiana, and we are here, almost ready to cross the Ohio River. And another landmark for us. Yeah. It is. We've yeah, crossed a lot of rivers. Uh, I don't know what the state border is exactly. I'm not sure either. GPS. It might be at the river, I'm wondering. There's a different Welcome side, a little bit Indiana. different. Yeah. Oh. Welcome to Indiana! <laughs> Mosquitoes! I got bit really bad last night on my legs and so we're going on a hike and I don't want to get bit anymore because mosquitoes love me. So we gotta climb up the little river, little creek here. And I just told Jeff that I feel like I'm in Zion again, walking in the water. That's pretty cool though. I don't I think I'm gonna go up this way. Where are we going? So we're gonna go right, we're gonna go on the five. This, if we keep going, this connects, if we keep going, it connects to the five. It's just a little tiny jaunt here. Oh yeah. So we're, we're right here, we're gonna do this. Come okay. Up. Then we're gonna go on the five still, and then we're gonna get to this three, and we're gonna go up and around and come back down. We wanna go up the ladder, not down the ladder. Ah, uh, okay. why I always get maps. We are in Indiana at the Turkey Run State Park mm -hmm. and it was a uh, pretty nice little park really. Um, some really nice hikes on the river here. I don't know what river that is. Um, I want to say yeah, it was the Sugar something. Hang on. Um, Sugar Creek. Sugar. Oh Sugar Creek. Sugar Creek. <laughs> Actually it's more like a almost more like a river I would call yeah. it. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's flowing pretty good right now. There's so. a lot of kayaking and canoeing and all kinds of stuff on there. I didn't see anybody like tubing it or anything. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Anyway. I don't like crackling trees. <laughs> <laughs> um, they scare me a little bit. Anyway. Yeah, we're just out getting some exercise. Um, we're about 40 minutes from here where we're staying. Yes. So we are in Clinton, Indiana at the Horseshoe Lakes Thousand Trails. Yeah. It's uh, pretty decent. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't complain about it. So. Yeah. Not too bad. For Seen a worse. Stop. We're here for just a couple of days and then we're moving on. So we got to see some Indiana while we're here. That's right. We'll do it. It's, it's a lot different than so we just came from Kentucky and there's a, between Kentucky and Indiana there is so many cornfields and soybean fields <laughs> that mm. it's nice to be in a little bit of nature and not see cornfields all the time. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But anyway, now I know how bourbon's made. It's corn's grown. Yeah. All over the place. <laughs> <laughs> corn is used for more than bourbon. So. I know, but there's a lot of corn here. Bye.
That was it. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race, not fast and dangerous. <laughs> that's a little kid. Thing. Yep. Oh, that's a steep one. Yeah, hang on. Just a little put in a ladder almost. <laughs> maybe not the smartest way. I'm, that's what I was just going to say. Maybe it wasn't the smartest way. I'm not too sure. I'm not done yet here. Pretty big um, race fans not just NASCAR but racing in general and Dale Earnhardt Jr. has a TV show it's called um, Hidden Track. No, um, Lost Speedways, Lost Speedways. Yes. and we were watching it the other night and Jungle Park where we're at right now was featured on the show and I knew we, we were in Kentucky at the time and I knew that we were coming to Indiana and I'm like where's this park at and what do you know it was only a mile away from the turkey run state park that we were just at that we did our hike yeah so we thought geez we got to come see this and we can't go in it doesn't look like yeah. uh, private property signs and all gated up and stuff but um kind of cool just being here as being as we were so close yeah and, this is uh, really cool to see it that yeah every uh, time we move i go to google maps and i kind of blow it up and i look at racetracks around the area <laughs> And if there's something really close, we'll go check it out. But uh, yeah, but this is really cool. Opened in 1926. 1926. There was a lot of people killed here. Mm -hmm. This was uh, a deadly racetrack. They raced it wasn't in, just race car drivers. It was fans, fans too. too. They had several uh, instances where cars came off the track and hit fans. Somebody crossed the track during a race yeah. and got hit. The promoter... Um, was bent over and was trying oh, to yeah. like fix the patch, track. Yeah, patch the track during a race and, and he got hit. Yeah. It, I mean, there is no, there's no like guardrails or anything like that around yeah. the track. It's just trees. <laughs> okay, so we just ran into the owner of the track now and she's letting us come in and walk around. That just stay out, just of, the stay out of the grandstands. Um, which, so, you know, they're kind of rickety, but there's uh, the grandstands. Let me just get out of the way a little bit. Huh. How cool is that? Yeah. Original. So, by luck, she was coming here to mow. Yeah, she keeps, <laughs> she the, still, property she keeps the property up. And we're like, hey, can we go in and walk around? and? She's like, yeah, just don't go on the grandstands because she doesn't want us to fall and, you know, then sewer or whatnot, which we would never do, but I can see that. This is so cool. Wow. All right, here is the racetrack. You can see wow. they kind of just dug it in and over here is the banking. I don't know what turn we're in. Um, Look at that. And then we're right next to the Sugar Creek. Um, and apparently somewhere, I do believe the Sugar Creek is going to be down this way here. I'm thinking we're right through the woods over here. And uh, some cars flew off, hit some trees, and landed in the creek. Yeah. Um, they never did really asphalt it. They brought in used oil um, and just went over to gravel and kind of compacted it so yeah. they called it kind of an asphalt but uh, you can see actually some of it's here like yeah, yeah. isn't that weird yeah so it's kind of like it's just oil oil but... compacted into some gravel and they called it kind of an asphalt and here is the 
the lady we just spoke to, the owner of the property, this is her dad's race car right here. This is what he raced here. Yeah. This is what he raced. Here. Yeah, she was a little concerned about um, anybody coming down here because it's so wet. It had tons of rain. I don't want to uncover it. She's kind of got it strapped down and stuff, trying to keep it preserved a little bit. Huh? Uh, it's no, not. there used to be um, five of them. Five, okay, yeah, five of them. Now here's the barrier. Now they would, <laughs> yeah. So here's the banking comes through here. I would assume for the most part, they would stay in this banking area and stay away from the grandstands a little bit, but um, Boy, I'll tell you what, one got out of control or something, or they clipped tires and sent one barrel rolling, it could definitely end up in some grandstands. I bet you it probably has happened. A little more of the, what they called asphalt, right there. It seems to be holding up somewhat. very cool originally now i don't know what year these were put in but this track opened in 1926. i kind of just got the chills this is so cool yeah think of all the cars and uh there's a lot of guys that came through here that went on to race indy 500 and indy 500 champions mm -hmm. that raced here there's a lot of history here at this track Lots. I am so thankful she let us in here. That's yeah. it. Wow. This is amazing. She's her mower's going. Yep. Wow. She said she was gonna mow and she just fired it up. I can hear it. There's quite a bit here to mow. That must be her hobby, keeping the grounds up somewhat. Um, wow. I am speechless. I just, it's mind boggling that. Wow. Open cockpit, midget yeah. cars, no seat belts. Uh, see, this is the stuff that excites us. Yeah. <laughs> this just turned into like, oh, let's just swing by and see it. See what we yeah. can see. Just wanted to see the gate. Yeah. And now we got to walk on the property. It just. Oh, very cool. Some, bucket list check. <laughs> it wasn't even on the bucket list. It wasn't even on the list, really, but um, <laughs> just made our day. That was awesome. Awesome, awesome. So, yeah, like I said, this is the original pit gate entrance. And uh, just a very cool entrance that has been, I don't know if it's been totally restored or what, but um, the old pictures we saw of it look just, like, just that. like that. Just like that, yeah. Just like that. Are y'all done already? They're not biting. I can literally see them and they're not interested in my big room here today. Maybe I'll go get some real worms up top. You literally were gone for like five minutes. Yeah. Just because it doesn't bite within five minutes, you're done? Yeah. I don't get a bite, it's time to move on. It's trying to try, you gotta try something different. You don't just keep on with the same old thing. Oh, so are you trying to tell me right now that you're gonna go get real worms and gonna try? Because you have that honeydew list that I honey wrote down for list. you. That is isn't a honeydew list. There are things you're for you to do. Up. Making stuff up. And you're choosing not to do them, you're choosing to go fishing. That's right. I gotta go cry, uh, catch some crickets. I would love to see you catch some crickets. I've seen them out here, but I don't haven't seen a ton of them. You get to chasing them, get to running around. Hmm. I think I'll go up and get some real worms.